Relax, baby. Relax. Hi right, y'all man so today is the day man pretty much baby girl can come at any moment any second today man like i'm super excited i don't know um it's super early in the morning right now it's not even 12 o'clock yet um baby girl can come literally like tonight when it's dark so man hey thank god for this opportunity to be a dad i want to thank you guys for showing so much love man if you guys are new to our channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and continue watching because you guys will see baby girl get delivered hopefully you feel me hopefully the hospital don't trip but i'm still gonna try to finesse it and get it on camera for y'all but i just want to say i love you guys thank you for all your love and support this these headphones making me look like making my eyes look chinky you feel me? <laughs> ah but yeah man i love you guys so much so man make sure you guys watch this video all the way through and if you would like a shout out all you gotta do is watch our video until you see some randomly selected numbers at the bottom of the screen and you comment those numbers and that's how you get a shout out simple we love you guys and thank you for everything so today is day two you feel me we waiting on the contractions to get much closer so they can give you the the rest of the medicine right um, well that's the that's the point of the medicine because my contractions when i first came in yesterday it was it was four minutes apart uh-huh and then this morning they started spacing back out and we don't want that we want them to be close together so they gave me medicine to make them back close and the doctor gonna come in here like 11 30. so uh we'll move this balloon that i got that i got inserted that's supposed to be helping me dilate. so once you remove it uh once you remove it she'll know uh, she'll most likely tell me how much I'm dilated, so. And if it's less than anything less than three, I will be mad. <laughs> yeah. You need about four or five? Yeah, no, I mean, At least if four. it's three, I'll be content, I guess. Because I feel like I was feeling all last night and then all this morning, so. I feel like it should definitely be three or more. Yeah. What if they come in here and say you only one centimeter down later? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna punch her. You gonna what? You gonna punch her? Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna get my double chin. Don't get your double chin. She said four to five centimeters dilated, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow, that's so, crazy. Which is super good because soon at like five six i can just get the epidural and all it's gonna feel like is pressure it ain't gonna be no so we it. most likely gonna be seeing her later tonight yep wow it's 12 o'clock y'all i'm probably like seven hours away from meeting baby girl i see you <laughs> no, wait till i tell y'all what just happened Pretty much the doctor said that they wanted me to wait in the lobby because um, they don't really like always have the dads in the room when they um giving a girl the um or giving the the baby mother the epidural shot. So pretty much I gotta wait in the lobby. You feel me? I don't know what's going on in that room. You know, God knows what. I might be a little dramatic, but I feel like why can't I sit in there and watch you give her a shot? I don't know, but I'm gonna be waiting in the lobby right now. Until they call me back in the room, and then I'm going to uh, ask Jackie how it was, you feel me? I heard that with the epidural shot, that the needle was, like, super, super long. And he got to stick it in their back. So, hopefully she's fine without me in the room, you know. I feel kind of bad because I wanted to be in there with her, you know, to give us some support. But, I don't know. Just me and my Gucci slides and my money socks and my Vita Coca. By the way, this this flavor is nasty. Get the pineapple if you're gonna drink this. How was it, baby? It was good. How how did the needle feel? Mm -hmm. It hurt. Babe, you know how that made me feel sitting out there? Why? Cause I'm like, I don't know what they doing to my girl. I'm like, why the hell I been out here for 30 minutes? She couldn't get it at first because she kept trying to have me curl up into like a C. Uh -huh. my, my back had to be all the way, like literally my butt had to be here. Mm -hmm. My feet was here. And they wanted me to crisscross 
my legs with these shits on. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And then they wanted me to curve my whole back like this. Mm -hmm. My stomach in the way, so I was barely able to curl over like that. And so she was having, because I couldn't do those things, she was having a difficult time finding the right spot to put it in. And then I just tried to like poke my spine out. And then she she was finally able to get it in. When she got it in, she it was a lot of it was a lot of pressure. And, and she, she was like injecting the stuff in you. Yeah, it's like a catheter. It's still in there. A catheter it, is like something actually in you right now. It's this that line right there. Uh huh. It's in my back. So they it got to keep going in you on only. It stays in that side when it wears off. Mm -hmm. It's a button right here somewhere that I got to press and it injects more. Dang. So that way. But my feet like feel hot. Feel hot? Like you can feel like it almost kind of feels like when your when your foot falls asleep. And it's like tingling? Yeah, that's kind of what it like. You can feel it inside of you. Oh. Then, can you feel your legs still? Yeah, I can feel them. I don't think like and after a while though I think that you ain't gonna be able to. Uh -uh. She said it's not gonna really start until one forty. Like one forty? I don't know what time it is. One thirty five. And then she said after she did that, they had to put a catheter in. Mhm. Mm Cause I can't get up and go to the bathroom. No. I can't get a period. I gotta stay in the bed till. So you gonna pee on yourself or what? It's a, no, it's a catheter. Oh, that's that little thing that suck up the. Yeah. Oh, okay. So when I gotta pee, it's it's going in a bucket down there somewhere. Oh, I see it. I seen that bucket. It's like down there, that little red bucket. The, huh? Is it pee in there? I don't know. Did you pee? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, you don't know. I felt like I had to go pee, but I didn't know if it was just the baby just putting pressure on my, on me, or if it was I actually had to pee. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so pretty much, y'all, right now, we waiting. We waiting, we waiting, we waiting. And pretty much, we just trying to see what's going to happen from here on out. They going to keep checking to see when you're going to reach 10 centimeters dilated. Yeah, she said right now, but she's just going to let me rest for a few hours. For a few hours? Mm hmm I asked God for a daughter two years ago. I said, whenever I have a kid, I want a daughter first. And I got her. So when is she gonna be here? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. When is that? Around ten, eleven ish. Ten, eleven ish in the morning on August twentieth. What's tomorrow? August twentieth. Right? Thursday. You sure? Yeah, Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. hey, I called this what like a week ago on like August like eleventh. I said, that? did I not say August twentieth? I feel like I remember, but I don't really remember you saying that. Man, you don't remember? I said August 20th, and y'all was like, a week? A week passed? You don't remember? I thought you said the 24th. No, I said the 20th, babe. Mm. Yeah, y'all, yeah, so like a week ago, I said she gonna be born on the 20th. Maybe you did say that. Oh, bro, I said the 20th. But pretty much right now, y'all, her contractions are getting a little bit closer. Um, we sitting at a, what about five and a half, maybe six centimeters dilated? Probably like six and a half, maybe a little bit over. A little she bit. Came in and checked. Yeah, y'all. So. Yeah, y'all. So man, we getting closer and closer to baby girl getting here. It's crazy. Like, I'm over here feeding this girl ice cubes. It's, it's like she living lavish. I feel her. I think she gonna push her out in about maybe like thirty minute stops. No, it's definitely not happening. You don't think so? No. I think she gonna push out fast, man. But anyway, huh? Two hours at the least. At the least? Mm -hmm. Girl, you a trooper. She's gonna fall right out. Yeah, but my body is not has never done this before. You're not taking that into consideration. True that. Oh, I want some olive oil. Shrimp scampi, baby. No, Alfredo. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Good night, y'all. <laughs> Wait, I missed one. I'll throw it out. Wow, you see how I get treated? Good night. I well, babe, out. look at the ice cube on the floor. Wow, that's sick. Anyways, good night, y'all, man. We fit, we next time we see y'all, man, the baby gonna be here. All right, y'all. So pretty much, man. Um, 
the doctor uh, had the doctor seen that uh, the baby heartbeat has dropped, and pretty much what happened was when the doctor came in here, she had to um, break Jacqueline's water or whatever, and the doctor had noticed that the baby had um, took a boo boo inside of Jackie which basically means when the baby first comes out, Jackie won't be able to hold her right away. They gotta make sure she comes out red and not blue. Pretty much just making sure she's okay and stuff because she can like get an infection and get sick if she comes out, you know, um, without the proper care uh, through her own bowel movements. Um, also, man, um, it's like freaking, it's like one in the morning, two in the morning or whatever right now. and. Pretty much, they said that if the baby uh, heartbeat continues to drop down, then um, it can be a possible thing, or well, one possible thing that can happen is that uh, Jackie would have to go in for an emergency C-section. So man, I'm like kind of like nervous because I don't want to have to go through a C-section, but you know, whatever happens, you know, it happens at this point, you know. Man, it's been it's been amazing, bro. It's been amazing, man. Oh my god, bro. I haven't slept in like two days, bro. Like it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy experience, bro. But I'm so grateful and so thankful for it. Like it's crazy, bro. Like I prayed for this, and like God actually gave it to me. Baby girl, finally get to meet mommy. She finally get to meet mommy, y'all. Right now, she falling asleep. Can't show her face too much, but she she fell asleep. Jackie just now uh, was able to see baby girl. Um, she delivered her at 4.43 in the morning. And right now, I'm pretty sure it is, it is 9.15 in the morning. She haven't seen her daughter literally for like five hours, almost five hours, you feel me? So, it's just crazy to be like, you okay, baby? She in a lot of pain right now, y'all. She um, she had to have a C-section because baby girl was being stubborn. She did not want to come out, and she wasn't ready to come out. And then, but on top of that, she was already eight pounds, so it's like it was just gonna cause too much problems for the baby, and it was gonna cause too much problems for Jackie. So um, that's what got us here. Pretty much, we gotta stay in this bad boy for two days to make sure um, you know, the baby vitals is okay to make sure Jackie healing up good. Wow, y'all. So pretty much, y'all, you okay? What does it feel like? I'm very easy. Like your stomach area? Oh. Shit, damn, man. Are you crying? Yeah, I love her so much, babe. Yeah. It's crazy, like, I'm looking at, like, my, like, my kid. That's my twin. And she looks just like her mama. With my nose. Yeah, pretty much. She gonna have some cheeks. <laughs> I just fed her for the third time today, y'all. She don't really, she not a fat, she not a fat mom like her mama. Her mama gonna eat a lot of food. <laughs> Baby girl, she gone, you feel me? She she only ate she only ate about twenty she only drank a little bit of her bottles, like a very, very little bit of her bottles. And then she like boo booed and stuff. <laughs> and she already threw up on my freaking hair figure. I can't believe ya. Okay. Relax, baby. Relax. So pretty much today, which is Friday, man, we just pretty much waiting it out. They gonna come in and out of the room every couple hours to test the baby and to make sure Jackie cool. And if both of them cool by tomorrow morning, then we'll be able to leave, man. So that's pretty much what we doing. We just gonna be pretty much literally just hanging out in the hospital another day. And yes, I don't have a haircut, but it's okay. We in quarantine, bro. But I'm excited for everything. I know baby girl gone. 
you know, come out on top because she's a warrior. And I know the little one gonna come out on top because she's already doing super solid. Like this baby is crazy. Like she one of a kind. Bro, having a baby is so freaking precious, bro. It's like so insane to me. Like, oh my God, bro. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I can't wait to like edit this video and just, you know, I don't know, just see you guys reaction because man, it was a wonderful journey, bro. Man, I've been in the hospital for like almost a week. It feels like, like it's legit been like five days. And like, we finally going home with her, bro. I'm so thankful. Thank you, God allowing me this opportunity to see my child thank you for allowing me to have a child thank you for my beautiful girlfriend she's hard body she's an angel she's a soldier thank you this thank you for all our supporters subscribers man i don't know where we would be without you god and i don't know where we would be without our supporters i'm grateful like it's crazy it's freaking crazy but I pray that you continue to bless us, oh Lord. I, I pray that, you know, you know, everybody that's watching this video stays blessed, you know, and safe, you know, in Jesus' name. Amen. It's crazy. So right now, y'all, he's upstairs. I'm I'm parked in front of the hospital. Um, pretty much the nurse is gonna be helping her bring the stuff down, bring the baby down, and bring a few bags down on a cart. Um, they told me to wait downstairs pretty much because um, they didn't want the car to get towed or whatever, but um, I'd have pretty much packed the car up with a few bags already, and we finna, you know, take baby girl home for the first time, bro. Should have seen me. I was crying like crazy. <laughs> first baby, and it's a girl. Yeah. 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 I feel you. <laughs> My husband was like that. You're crying still. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Please, somebody has to be calm here. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't think we ready for number two yet. <laughs> Not number two. Nah. What are you going to wait? She going to get some company maybe in like no no more than five. No more than five. That's too long. Because yeah. me and my brothers, I got a brother that's 10 years younger than me. And then another brother that's 20 and years younger than me. I'm pretty sure they hate you, right? Because yeah, too, like, too, old. Like <laughs> too old. Too old. Thank you so much. Take care of that one. See you in life. Right. Two, 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 three years. Two, three years? Oh, man. She say pop out. Two, she say pop out another baby in two to three years, babe. What the? I don't know about that one. You got it, baby? I gotta scoop my, let me, let me scoop my chair up, hold on. All right, y'all, man, so this is the end of our uh, labor and delivery video. How was the experience, babe? It's, it's surreal, you know? So real, man. Baby girl is, is coming home. Oh, how you say it, surreal or surreal? <clears throat> Baby girl is coming home today, man. So if you guys are new, man, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, we'll see you real soon, man. This is our first night with the baby. We love y'all. Coleman family. Peace.